Thanks for joining me on yet another exciting 5 Minutes with Zikta. My name is Edward Mulenga and on set tonight I have with me Mr. Prince Kalala, Financial Investigator from the Zambia Police Headquarters uh, from the Department of the Anti-Fraud Unit. Good evening Mr. Kalala. Good evening. I'm good evening viewers. Could you kindly tell us more about your work? Uh, like you have already just stated, I'm under the Anti-Fraud Unit. The Anti-Fraud Unit basically deals with financial related crimes which are committed in various ways, mostly through cyber crime and sometimes by manipulating of documentation. It's quite interesting, Mr. Kalala. You know, as we get more and more connected, yes. I think it's very important and very imperative <laughs> that we adopt some security features uh, in the use of social media these days, don't you think? It's very true, because of late, I think we're having more cases to deal with social media. Of course. Uh, you know, we like to encourage uh, our, our, our viewers to use social media in many ways possible for connecting with the community or just basically having fun. But at the same time, we want to encourage them to adopt some security features. What are some of the security features that could use uh, Mr. Kalam? Okay, I think social media is a bit wide, but uh, we'll basically talk about maybe Facebook because those are the most common cases of late we are receiving. Yes. It has, uh, I can say that most of the social medias use Facebook. Now, unfortunately, frankly speaking, most of the users do not take precaution to protect their personal information, to protect their accounts and confidentiality. And it is them themselves, the users, because of not taking these precautions that they have become vulnerable or victims to cybercrime. I've seen, I've seen some users always posting, I'm at KKI, I'm going to the United States, but they forget that their house is, uh, is not uh, well protected. They forget that they're living in the house by itself. And they, uh, you know, those fraudulent people might take uh, this as an opportunity to uh, perhaps rob them. What are some of the, uh, the, the measures that the Zambia police has in, uh, in mitigating uh, the risky use of uh, so, uh, social media? Yes, yeah, very true, especially where you've mentioned, or like I said, people just want to accept anybody as a friend. You know, the fraudsters nowadays, they have found that system, the Facebook, as another good avenue of making money. They will create a page for a famous person, for instance, a minister of finance, minister of works and supply, and everybody would want to associate with those people without taking any precaution. This thing will just pop on their Facebook to say, on their page to say, I'm the minister of finance, Zambia. Then he, they'll be provision to say, I just friend. And that, they'll send a friend request, and automatically they'll be added as friends. And they'll keep on chatting <coughs> on the main wall. But interesting, they'll divert. They might issue to say the Ministry of Finance is offering loans, more or less like a citizen empowerment program. And for you to access loans, maybe going up towards 100,000. So people will be interested in the man that I need that 100 so that I can start maybe a program. They will divert now. Instead of communicating on the main wall, they will resort to chatting through messages. Inbox. Inbox. I mean, that's a very good time. They will start chatting inbox. They will be given conditions to say, okay, for you to qualify, you need to pay for instance 5,000 mm. for application, doc documentation to be done. Because this person is interested in the money. Of course. They'll respond. And I'll say, they'll be told, okay, because of my position, I'll give you an account where to deposit the money. Mm. But interesting, the Minister of Finance, you could be Mr. X. But the account number, you'll be given a personal account for a Mr. Y. Mm. And when you deposit the money in Mr. Y, they'll ask you to say, take a photo of the deposit slip mm -hmm. and send it to me. So immediately they deposit, they'll send it to them. They said, okay, that's very good. Maybe a day later, surprising, you'll be defended. Mm -hmm. And all your money is gone. And all the money is gone. That's been Mr. Kalala from the Zambia Police uh, uh, Anti-Fraud Unit. Um, and myself, Edward Molenga, Public Relations, Zigta. 
Uh, it's been a very informative five minutes with Zigta uh, tonight. And uh, remember, we do not use ICTs in our lives. ICTs is part of who we are. Catch you next time on Five Minutes with Zigta. Good night.